I'm here in the Lemon Heights hills of Santa Ana, where an artist has shaken up the art world by adding color to the industrial style of Art Deco. He infuses pop culture to create one-of-a-kind pieces. Tucked high in the hills of Santa Ana sits a house with views from the valley clear to the ocean. But while the house may look normal from the outside, open the doors and you step into a whole new world. Anything that you see as visual entertainment to put on your wall or pick up off a grocery store shelf is what I create. Mike Kungle is a professional graphic designer and a fine arts painter creating everything from digital prints to giant elaborate murals. Always had a passion for artwork, but never knew that it would go in this direction. I just always liked it. Born in the Los Angeles area, Kungle will tell you art has always been a part of his life. Where did the passion come from then? Were your parents artists? No, the passion, I think the passion just was inherent of my soul. I honestly believe that. Finding the knack early on, what was once a hobby soon became talent people around him could easily see. My art teacher said, Mike, you should probably go to college to, you know, for art, some kind of commercial graphics industry, you know. And uh, I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out. Leaning on his childhood for inspiration, characters from familiar shows quickly made their way onto Kungle's canvases. For some reason, whenever I'm drawing, there's... Uh, uh, there's always a lightning bolt that comes off, off of my pencil. And it just is, that's the way I draw it, it's from here and here. The walls are filled with dozens of creations that express Kungle's style, a fusion of two worlds. So where did the Art Deco part of that whole fusion that you've created now, uh -huh. where did that start? What I call it is a 21st century Art Deco. And it's basically a new version of Art Deco uh, based on the 1920s and 1945 era. Influenced by the forefathers of industrial design, the architecture surrounding the world of Art Deco stays alive in every unique piece. Look at the Chrysler Building, Empire State Building, the Golden Gate Bridge, some of the most monumental uh, monolithic landmarks of our generation are these are the most beautiful things that are, that are still existing. The artist created M. Kungle Studios in 1987. Kungle has worked with heavyweights like Lucasfilms, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Warner Brothers, all from the comforts of his in-house studio. I don't work for anybody. I'm self-employed, but I have contracts with people that allow, the intellectual property owners that allow me to create their art and distribute it. Inspired by two different worlds, one of luxury and one of fantasy, the popular artist keeps his head level, creating something for everyone. Whomever comes by an event that I have the pleasure to meet, that wants to come meet me, whether it be the president of a Fortune 500 company or a four-year-old girl with a lollipop and sticky fingers, they are both going to get the same treatment. Kungle is also an avid dog lover. He donates a portion of his online purchases to his favorite animal rescue. From Santa Ana, Alexis Walker, CCN.